All right, got more packages in the mail. Alright everybody, and hey, welcome to 3D Archery. Alright, you see my first bull build. You know it came out great. Had some flaws. Want to correct them. You know, it's a learning process. A couple things that I was told. One, um, since my riser is too small. That's what a lot of people that actually know what they're talking about told me. Um, and that's what they sent me, and that's what I used. And they said, for the recurve part, because it's 62, the riser was a little short, and that was could be one of the reasons for the bending. So, the first thing I did to this set is I got a longer piece of wood. The other one was, I think, 18 inches, and this one would be 22 inches. That's a 4-inch difference, so we're going to see how much of a difference that makes. All right. Now, the other thing about all this is cost. You know, my first one, the whole kit and everything, was 300 and something bucks. So now I don't need the kit. And I'll tell you, price dropped big time. Um, if you buy your EA40 in bulk, you can even drop that price off. But I got my price down to 140 bucks for all the materials. So that ain't too bad. Wow. I could kill somebody with this. This is like freaking heavy. Look at the side. That's a that's a riser. <laughs> All right, here is my riser. Now, go and be all these charts, and they tell you to have a forty-pound bow, you need this, 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 uh, you know, this thick of thing, this thick. But then the laminations and all that, they don't add up. So I couldn't figure it out. I really couldn't. One, I suck at fractions. Never been able to do them. I wish we just go to the frickin' metric system. You know, why can't I have a shark with a freaking laser on its head? Why can't we just go to the metric system? That's all I gotta say. And that noise is my cat's running around upstairs. Alright, they did send it. That's not, you know, I was curious how they're gonna send it. Big long one. I like this because this is almost exactly the amount of EA40 I need to make my bow. Laminations coiled under pressure. Hold firmly while cutting tape, then allow laminations to unwind while holding firmly with two hands. How can I hold with two hands and still cut? Hmm. Alright, so you've seen it. Um, I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to smooth out my form. I marked some spots where it wasn't major. Um, they didn't have any effect on performance, pure aesthetic, but I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. Got a couple more things, so this should be interesting. I have no clue, like I said earlier, what the weight of this bow is going to be. I'm going to build it, and we'll take it from there. And I'm going to write down all my numbers and track everything, and we're going to see how it works that way. All right? So, bow build number two of a laminated bow. Let the games begin. All right, open it up. <laughs> it is a... Uh... Not bad memory, kept a little bit of memories, twist in the ends. Now, one thing I'm going to say. The other one had, my first one I should say, had tapered laminations. This time I'm going to build it with parallel laminations. I noticed the Ben Pearson bows that I was basing it off of, excuse me, didn't have tapered laminations, they were all parallel. Now, I went on a couple forms, asked the question, what's the difference? And you know what? Nobody gave me an answer. I got roundabout ones, but we're going to find out. I mean, does a tapered lamination, what does it do for you? Is it an advantage over a uh, parallel? I mean, I don't know. We'll find out. You know, that's, what, that's why I'm building all these. I'm going to build a bunch of them. And if they break, get rid of them. If not, I'm just going to give them to somebody. 
One day I'll get them down, I'll have a really nice bow, but that's how I'm playing with it. All right, I'm going to start on my form. Man, this is a big-ass riser. I could probably get two out of this sucker. Yeah. Hmm, questions, 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 questions. I think I can get two out of this. Save me some money, though. You know what? The wood wasn't bad. Now, you can go pick all different types. Um, I think this is Coca Bolo. You know, I like it. It came out good in the other one. They stain. I didn't stain it, but when you put the uh, coating on it, they came out nice. All right. Time to do some sanding. All right. Something else I learned. Or I didn't learn. I'm changing. Uh, my first bow, I did it all by eye, right? I had a general idea. I copied the Ben Pearson Collegian. And I just did it all by eye. My form, everything, it's all sort of done by eye. But now that it's set, i got to make a template, you know, for my riser, my tips. You don't really need it for the tips. You can wing your tips all you want. I mean, I think it works easy. So I was thinking about different things, and I stumbled on something pretty cool. I went to Hobby Robbie. This is um, poster board, right? But it's not the thick poster board, but it's, you know, thicker than... Um, Craft paper and construction paper, I think that's all we used to call it, and cardboard. But, which I don't think you can, yeah, you can see just barely, it has grids on it, grid squares. So that's going to allow me to plot out my riser a lot better. And then I also have cardboard. So I don't know how well this is going to hold, so what I do is I'll probably put it on this, cut it out, and then glue it onto this. I don't know. But that's just a step. You know, this way here I can reproduce it a lot faster. I'm not going to sell these things, all right? I'm not going to sell bows. I'm not in that business. I will make them as gifts for people that I like, all right? Or if I don't like you, yeah, I'll still make you one of those, make a bad one. No, just joking. All right? So I think that's pretty neat. So if you're looking at doing your own riser, I really think the little grid square thing can really help you. All right. Just another little thing that I did, you know, learning as I go. I don't know what other people do. I've seen some people cut out of metal, some people cut out of wood. My bandsaw is not that good. My bandsaw skills are not good at all. So this is what I'm going to go with. All right, just an update. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm going to cut in and out and show you little things that I learned and things like that that I'm going to try to do to make this build a little different. All right, on to the next step. All right, everybody, bow's all done. You know, I didn't show you any of building it, but we're going to talk about it a little bit before we move on. All right, a um, couple of things. Like I said, this was just a build exercise to see how it came out. And because uh, I didn't trust... The other one I ordered was supposed to be 45, 40 pounds, or 45, 40 or 45, and it came up to like 50. I got it down to 48. So... What they sent me and what it was supposed to be was two different things, so I decided to go on my own. Um, I used Bow Tough. It was one and a half inch by 0 0.050 by 72. All right, so 0 0.50 was the thickness. The laminations was made out of hard rock maple, and that was 0 0.60. Right, and the riser is Bubinga. Now, total cost. All materials for this bow was $138.82. Pretty good deal, right? So, here it is. But um, Came out really nice. Pretty happy. Alright. She looks pretty darn good. Nice looking there. The front. Uh, what I did, a couple things for accents, I took the, put these up, I don't want really to need them for reading. Right there you can see, so that's Bubinga, that is my lamination hard rock maple, and then that's black phenolic, so I can use a fast flight string on them. All right, um, little decal I made to put on there. So, the bow, this bow is based off of roughly two bows. They're both almost identical. This, looks like I'm drunk, is a Ben Pearson Colt. All right? One of the original ones. But really narrow there. And I just don't have faith in anything yet. But the Collegian and the Colt are, I mean, belly-wise, 
They are absolutely identical in the angles. The Collegian just happens to have a little thicker riser than the Colt. Right? So mine, which is based off of these, has an even thicker riser. Now, uh, the goal, lesson learned, goal was 62 inch bow, this is 60. In the process you have to cover your form with cling wrap so the epoxy that you put on there doesn't leak over and stick to it. Well I was thinking, I had problems with it last time so what I tried was wax paper and man that was a bad idea that it was my lamination was sliding everywhere and I got it I thought it was all straight but one end I realized it was heavily staggered so it was no problem I just cut it down to 60 that's the beauty of it and it worked out fine so the bow's built um, I've been shooting it for a little bit it's about 40 pounds so you can see my tapers going like that I did zero tillering why because when I put it on the tillering stick at 18 inches, it was almost exactly where it needed to be. This was only slightly uh, stronger, or this side, sorry, this side was slightly stronger than this one, or vice versa, I can't remember which. But it was almost dang near neutral, and I go, you know what? That's pretty good, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, coated it with polyurethane, came out pretty good. So I'm very happy. Now, I'm gonna speed test it on a chronograph, I actually went and did a indoor 300 on my own. Haven't shot one in a while, but I wanted to see how it shoots. And I shot a 233. Not bad, not bad. I mean, this thing shoots really well. Now, cool thing that I have to say that I did, all right, is I made this grip multi-purpose. This is the hunting grip, or the fast shooting grip, like that. You can grab it just like that, and it fits really well. I got this little indentation here for your ring finger. And this finger but when I do target shooting or the other ones and I'm gonna sneeze I shift my grip so I get more of that classic grip like this see that finger goes perfect right there so I have the if you want to grip it this way it works well if you want to grip it that way it works well a little something I did just to play around I also cut this slightly ever so slightly past center so that when my strike plate is on there, it should be two center. And my strike plate is just a piece of leather that I got at a craft store. And of course, my shelf is made out of Velcro. That's what I like. The string is off one of the other bows because I didn't have a 60 incher because it's supposed to be a 62 inch. All right, so let's put it on the chronograph and we'll see what she does. All right, everybody, I'm not gonna film the chronograph. I just did it. I mean, you've seen a chronograph once, you've seen it a hundred times, right? So my average speed comes out to just either above or under, that's what I was averaging, but 160 feet per second. You know, not bad, um, shot pretty well. I tell you this, I can be pretty darn accurate with it, all right? See this picture right here I'm gonna put up? Look at that, that's from 30 yards. I was working on my gaps with it. 30 yards, those three that are together that are touching were the last three. So I'm pretty happy with it. You know, this thing shoots well, and for a bow that I made at home, this thing works great. All right, our next one is I'm gonna take it out and do a shoot with it, and we're gonna watch that up next. It's good. 20 plus, I'd say about 25 yards. Uh, I'm sorry, meters. Well, it's, it's 22 meters. Oh, well, that's 25 meters. No. Wow. There you go. So I figured I'd put 18 it. meters. Nice. Nice. Man, I knew, yeah. All right, this is maybe 15 to 18. Ooh. Nice. Folks, this is going to be tough. Ooh. There you go. Okay. For a bow made my basement. 
I mean, how many people can say that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mention that. There, there we go. go. That's, just... that's the one. That... <laughs> nice shot. You got a little help nice. in that one. That's right, baby. So... You can get in so much trouble. Nice shot with that piece of. Well, I was hungry, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I went me on. far, far away. I went far, far away. Much better. Ooh, so Greg, show us. Stand back and. Nice. All right, you see how I shot? Now, it's not the best, no. I have to admit, I've never did a 25 out of 25 in a league setting. Practice, maybe. But this picture right here shows you it's in a league, right? Not only did I get 25 out of 25, I got four X's, four out of five. That's like Jimmy Blackman level, right? So this bow, it's quickly become my favorite. Why? Well, because mainly I built it, right? I love it. It shoots great indoors, uh, 3D, all that. Now, I've shot it a whole lot. I've been doing an indoor league with it, like I said. So, this thing's got to have a thousand arrows through it already, with ease. Um, I'm just shocked by it. You know, one, a guy who, one, I suck with fractions. So, trying to figure out all this inches and all that, I can't stand it. Please, somebody empower the United States. Go to the metric system. I don't have all the proper tools. All right? My bandsaw sucks. I had to do a lot of this by hand with the improper tools, but it came out great. I love this thing. For a 60-inch bow, about 40 pounds. Now I've let some other people shoot it, and I don't I really want honest opinions. But I don't know how honest they're being, because they, you know, maybe they don't want to hurt my feelings. But to me, I have no problem. Now. Was it the bow that shot like that? Eh. You know, it's just having a good, repeatable shot cycle. And that's what I've, I've started to get now. And that's more of anything else. That's probably, from the looks of it, looks like a, it's at least a 22 to 23. You know, and I take that every day of the week. All right, so that's it, boys and girls, my bow. My Colt Traditional. <laughs> I'm going to build another one. My next one I want, I want to put some uh, vanilla highlights in the middle of it. You know, spruce it up a little bit. I am going to try to actually make it a 62 this time. And then over the winter, it's just about winter, I'm going to build an actual recurve. Right? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week with an all-new episode of 3D Archery.